Welcome to AutoCAD Learning. In this session, we will see, analyze, and solve a 3D problem based on 3D solid box and rectangular walls. So, just let's check out the problem and just conceptualize that thing. This is our problem today. So, you can see there is a 50 by 40 by 10 rectangular slab in the base. That is the 50 is the length, 40 is the width and the 10 is the height of that slab. And after that, there is two walls of thickness 10 and 15 of height 30. And there is another gap of that 15 millimeter thickness wall from the side line. So our gap is 10. So let's get on to the problem and check out how we can solve it. So, we can see that we have to do three things. Number one, the basement. Number two, the two walls. So, these are the three things we have to do. So, we can see that the one wall thickness is 10 and another wall thickness is 15. Total wall height is 30. So, let's start with the base box. That is 50 by 40 by 10. Okay. So, we have learned about this. Uh, change our workspace setting to 3D modeling. By default, the visual style is top. We have to change it to I a southeast isometric. So, the visual style has been changed. Uh, just pan the screen a bit for better view. Now, we have to go to the box tool. Uh, we have got our length to be 50, uh, width to be 40 and height to be 10. Let's go to the box tool. And select the first corner point arbitrarily, length 50, width 40, and a height to be 10. So, our base box has been done. Next, we have one side wall of 10 and another side wall of 15 at a gap of 10 millimeter. And the height of the total is 30. So, the height of the walls are 20. You can see the height of the walls are 20. So, let us go to the problem. For this, we will do another thing. Okay. Now, we have to get into the edges first. So, we have done our solid first. After that, we have to take the, our lines. So, for our lines, just take our line tool. And for that, we need the ortho mode on. So, I have turned the ortho mode on. So, okay, I am starting from this point. In this direction, I have to go to 10, enter. After that, this is the 40 in this direction. Just give the value 40 and done. Again, in this direction, from this corner, just go up to 15 over here. And this is 50, I, ha I have an offset of 10, though, so that is 40. And here this is 15. So, our total thing is done. Okay. And after that, uh, we can do a offset over here for this line to close the loop. Uh, just for the offset of 10 of this line at this direction. Done. Ops, uh, select the offset of 15. Enter. And this is the offsetting line in this direction. So, our offset has been done. The total loop has been closed. This is the closed area. So, we have to, we need to trim it. We need to trim the sp some specific zones that are being enclosed by these two lines. So, click on this. This zone we have to trim and also this zone we have to trim and enter. So, this is the area we have to pull it up. How much we have to pull it up? That is 30 and the base is 10. So, 30 minus 10 is 20. We need to pull it up up to 20. For this, we need a tool. Uh, we know the tool that is press pull. Click on the tool and go to the boundary area. See, the boundary area has been selected. So, just give the pulling value. We are, we are pulling this in the y plus direction. 
give the pooling value to the 20. So, you can see that our drawing has been done. This is our drawing. Uh, you can check it in different modes. You can check it in different modes and you can check in different visual styles also. Uh, Let us see, we want a shades of grey. You can see the visualize the better visual way. This is the drawing we want to do. Thank you for watching. We will see you in the next video.